have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Final video in our uh, series for seeing what is the best destroyer with anti-aircraft. And we're on the Jay Humphreys for now. Before we begin, like, subscribe, button, love. You see value in what we're doing here. Help us support the channel by making it grow, by talking about it, commenting below. Let us know what we get better. And as, as well, may I hit that subscribe button if you want to support us. As in, uh, We're going to plan on doing at 2,000 subs, giving a free premium DD giveaway. So let's get to it. Here's the builds. Mod 6 there. Of course, we did the normal uh, Mod 6 uh, uh, anti-aircraft adjustment. Um, it only affects most of the stores that have defensive fires, so it gives that extra two salvos. And the J-Humper is a little different. Uh, I did the recommended build, which is just do AFT and uh, no fearless brawler. I think we have enough salvos as it is with the DFA. And Jay Humphreys ranks number seven to remind everybody what we're doing here. It has five plus one flat clouds. Of course, we get an additional uh, the, with the DFAA uh, when we have mods, the mod six adjustment. So let's take a look at how this what how this works. And uh, disclaimer, these are in the training room here. These are bots. They're not fully upgraded airplanes. And of course, they're not dodging flat clouds. And we're turning the A on right off the bat to shoot as opposed to being a little more sneakier in real life. So. Let's take a look how it, ooh, 14 plane shredded. Jay Humphreys, again, very powerful. The I'm not, I was very surprised that something that would be like a super gearing would actually have this kind of AA on Problem it. And solved, um, man, it actually is fairly decent, I believe, and pretty strong for the given meta right now. But again, we'll see what uh, later on when we actually play a real battle against human players, how it actually turns out with a fully upgraded carrier. We're kind of just putting, again, these three carriers uh, to give it more of a realistic feel of what it would actually look like in a uh, battle because, you know, normally in a, C a randoms battle, you only get one CV, so to make it a little bit more fair in the training room, we'll get three. And as you can see, it's holding out pretty darn well. 60,000 damage right off the bat in the first minute and a half. And we're just shredding planes with that DFA. Now, without DFAA, which is that Defensor Fire AA um, uh, boost, if you want to call it, uh, it's here's the normal AA build right here again it's only reaching out to six kilometers six kilometers is already activating that long range uh, flak burst and continuous damage uh, it does not have a very good close range I don't think it has any close range at all honestly let me take a look at um, what the stat the statistics show but it's saying that the uh, let's see here Josh J Humphreys does have a short range two kilometers and doing 63 short DPS per so that's damage per second. So it does have something, uh, as you can see, that it's taken away about 63 to 80 or something per second. The way we build it, I think the continuous damage is up to 200 something. So let's take a look. Yeah, we're knocking about a few hundred there, a few hundred there every so a second. You can see it's actually working as it gets in closer to that five range and we get that flat cloud you can see bursting and killing everybody right there. There's 4.5, four kilometers, we're getting that 4,700. Very nice juicy damage right there. And there, here's that invulnerability period where nothing's happening. And now there's some more damage right there. So uh, on the way out, we get a lot of them. And you know, we do mitigating damage again by, and the fighter planes, we turn in towards the fighter planes to get that uh, slim profile. And we knocked out a bunch right there. So very, very um, powerful, I would say, right now without DFA. Let's see if it actually works a little bit more. Let's see, we're nosed into the bombers uh, or a 45 degree angle. Ooh, nice. We get a whole major flak burst and knocks all the planes out of the sky right there. Torpedo planes are coming in. Again, that was, that last strike right there wasn't using any DFA. Let's see, we're at six kilometers. Uh, we'll see if they start acting. There's a six right there. He drives in about 5.7 when we start seeing damage tick away. About the five and a half, we're getting some flak clouds in there. We were knocking on the right there. We got right side of the aircraft, the uh, ship. Let's see, okay, bombers. We need to go more of a long range. I heard the DFA active. Now they're in that invulnerability period where nothing's happening. Yep, and you completely miss. I think the flak AA actually throws off a lot of human players. There's so many flat clouds and everything's shaking. It hopefully at least throws off some of the aiming so it's not just an easy shot for a, a player. Here come the dreaded skip bombers from the Nakamov. See how they handle that. Yeah, def defensive AA is still active. Let's see if we can get a nice shot. Okay, six point, it's activated. And there we go, 5.7, there we get nice. Ooh, there we go, knocked him out, 6,700 damage. Very, very powerful, surprisingly. Ooh, knocked an entire squadron right there out. So pretty good right there, DFA it's was active. So we're getting a lot of those flak burst. Alert. So you're getting about five plus one plus two. So you're getting about eight. Not as much as the Larna, but still decent. All right, we knocked out one plane. Not a, one plane is nothing uh, for this. So Jay Humphrey's doing pretty, pretty well right here. Let's see another rack of Nakamov torpedo bombers right here. Let's see if we can uh, 
Let's see if we can knock some out of the sky right at the six kilometer range. Once six kilometer range is hit, we start getting that shot. There it is. He's already starting his attack run. Yeah, we're only getting about 78 per second damage there. And now we'll get through that flak burst, 4,000 right there. He's already dropped the bomb, so he didn't knock it out in time. So we get a bomb run off on us. There's 5,000 on the bombers. The Hakuru didn't even make it through. All right, let's see if we can the next uh, strike the midway. Can he make it through? Nope, midway and Hakuru could not make it in. So Nakamov has to drop so far out range uh, in order to get a drop off. And there's those torpedoes that he made. Ooh, we might actually have to eat one of these things. Below the water line. Whoa, yeah, we took one. So, very, very difficult for the Nakamov. All the other carriers are pretty easy to dodge. Nakamov right here, this is just basic AA fire here, and he is able, let's see here, is he able to get a drop off? Yep, he was able, able to drop one off and misses. A normal human player probably would have nailed that one. Our right, torpedo planes are going to go nose in slim profile because they're more of a concentrated spread. Let's see, as, as the game is getting uh, going down, we notice our AU is probably being damaged and if we're getting shot at and he's getting weaker and weaker by the, as the game progresses here. And we're getting a couple thousand flak bursts here. Ooh, nice flak burst on that torpedo squad right there. And the fighter planes, we're gonna try to see if we can get, uh, yep, we got them all. I can only imagine if we actually set up as a no-fly zone over a carrier that every time a carrier launches a plane, the, the Humphreys would definitely shred everything like a, a Holland would. Let's see, oh, yep, within the six kilometer range, already getting are getting black burst alert. off, and yep, he's on his attack run right now. I don't think nothing, no damage is happening, no damage is happening. He shoots, and there we go, he's dead. I don't think that's really fair, honestly. You should just still be able to shoot down planes if they're on that attack run. I, don't, I think they should do away with that invulnerability uh, period. I don't think that's really realistic. But again, a 1DD being able to stave off three waves of airplanes is probably not realistic either, but hey, it's a game. I'm, I'm glad we can actually do this, that this is even an option. Otherwise, OCVs would be too overpowered for DD, DDs. All right, we're getting some shots on the Midway Torpedo Bombers, and they got us uh, rack off. And can we knock out this plane before he runs away? Yep, we got him. Yeah, so, I mean, onesie twosies, and definitely the Humphreys has no problem with this, especially just the basic AA fire. And, ooh, do we gotta take this one No, we're just about good. All right. So, as you can see, 167 planes shot down, about 287,000 uh, damage. So, this is pretty comparable to what uh, maybe the Holland or the Delarn that we've seen in the previous videos. All I do is just take the time, we're about 7 minutes here, divided by 300, so every minute you're probably getting about 40,000 ish damage, which is probably the average of what you would see in a one player game, or one CV game. It's about 40 to 50,000 damage, which is probably comparable to what we've been seeing uh, lately for these double, these pretty high tier AA builds, uh, DDs. Uh, I don't think anything below a gearing or Humphreys would actually do any more damage than this because it's just that these are the best according to the stats finder that we saw earlier that the, the, the Humphreys and above which is mostly the European EDs are have been the ones that have been showing a lot more promise and uh, a lot more AA ability so uh, yeah I think the Humphreys uh, would be up there and it actually is working to what the statistics are showing that we're getting the amount of damage we perceive to actually have uh, 300,000 and plus damage in the seven minute mark so pretty Pretty well. I mean, I would say the Humphrey is very, very uh, up there and formidable, formidable for an AA Critical destroyer build. If you choose to do that, uh, I don't think um, uh, I would build this any other way other than the basic recommendations. And so let's take a look at what the statistics are and what we actually came up with. Click in here, detailed report. And as you can see, damage here, 327,000 damage in about eight minutes. So you divide that uh, seven to eight minutes. Yeah, we're getting about 40-ish, 40,000 damage-ish uh, for, you know, seven times four is 28. So yeah, about 40,000 damage-ish to for what we're expecting. So we should see that in an actual realistic game. So taking a look at uh, the a, a real player game here. So we're going against a Malta. Now, this is one of the games that it, it took us to so notice we haven't gotten any kills yet in the first nine minutes. So we actually didn't get this until the midway, halfway through the game itself. I and mean, this is a weird game. There's only seven players, so it's late at night. But that's actually kind of fun because we were literally over top the Malta and just blowing everything up, everything he launched, we took out. So let's see here, Malta, one of the deadliest 
uh, his carriers out there. And look at the amount of damage we're getting right there. 18 planes shot down right off the bat there. Didn't even make it through our flak um, ring and range. So really, really powerful right there. So uh, this actually seems to be a, like a formidable build. Now, caveat is you have to have DFA running. I don't think this would survive without the DFA running because we need those extra flak birds, the extra DPM, the continuous damage. Look at that, boom, he's just shredding the bombers completely to obliteration. And the defense bomber actually gets one strike off, but only a big butt kiss right there. Only a few bombs actually went through. And really, really awesome power right there. We were able to survive. I think it kind of threw off the player. And now we're just got a literally an AA bubble right over the Malta. So anything he launches just goes down. Look at that. We get AA expert right off the bat from zero to hero right there in the matter of a minute. And we get a AA expert shooting down that many planes. And of course, we're shooting on spotter planes, fighter planes. And it's kind of a, no, more of a just we got an iron dome right over the Malta. So pretty hilarious right there. And those bombers are running away because he knows, hey, it's not worth playing around with the Humphrey. So very, very powerful right there. AA expert, 37 planes shot down with that last minute right there. So very, very uh, formidable, powerful, devastating build. And we knock out, let's see how many planes, 37 planes. What was the damage on the detailed report? We get 88,000 damage of airplanes in that last just stretch right there. So man, Humphrey's really bringing it strong and I uh, really enjoy that build. So let's take a look at another uh, battle here and see if it can actually last uh, who are we playing against today I think we're playing against a Nakamop okay so Nakamop oh I just wanted to show this this is a devastating strike actually and boom Shimikaze those are like gearing torpedoes right there very unsuspecting very devastating and they pack a wallop so actually I was just showing off the devastating uh, strike right there but we we're not playing against the Nakamop I think that was a zero playing game but Let's take a look at this one. This one is the Midway. Now, Midway should be fairly easy to go against. It's a tier 10 standard, one of the first carriers out there. That, I think a Midway is a premium, I'm not, I'm not mistaken. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but let's take a look at some of the firepower we're, we're throwing out, dishing out against the Midway. We've got the DFA active and shooting down 12 planes. A lot of planes being destroyed right there. And how many did we get here? 15? My goodness, how many planes does he have? He gets his torpedo run off, and we're able to get about 11,000 damage. Ooh, two more planes knocked down, so about 17 planes right there in that first wave. And let's see if we've got any more planes coming at us. Okay, torpedo planes now coming at us right through the center from the north. All right, once he gets it within the next six kilometers, we start seeing damage tick away. Up here he, gets, he makes it into the five and a half ring before taking damage, so... That's, that's that. That's just how the mechanics of the game are. We get a lot of juicy flak hits, but not many planes being shot down. Only 24,000 damage right there. So he's behind an island, so we can't really see. It's a, I think that's kind of weird. I guess he went low level enough that we couldn't even see him. All right, so not much uh, effects there. That's the most we got on the midway. I thought we would get a little bit more. And let's see here. This is, what aircraft carrier is this? All right, here comes some bombers. Let me take a look at who's playing here. Oh, this is actually a match that I, we actually won, run the entire gamut through because, man, this was a good match. So we'll let, we'll let it run and just see how much the Jay Humphreys can get. I think we get a lot of uh, any aircraft in this one. This was a pretty darn... Uh, powerful match, so it's pretty fun. And we'll, we'll talk all, also about how to become a good DD player as well, a little bit of DD tips and tactics to always improve a destroyer player main's game. And uh, as you can see, we didn't rush into the cap right off the bat. We were kind of going slow rolling it, see who's out there and analyzing the situation, figure out where's that. I'm not gonna cap right away. I know a Venom's right here. If I either smoke up or sit there, I'm gonna get damaged by his torpedoes because the Venom's got so many torpedoes. So we're gonna go see if we can eliminate him, get him out of the game. We do not want to bend him rolling around and having free reign and just torping the crap out of our team. So we're gonna go ahead and start opening up and see if we can knock out as much damage. I know he doesn't have any heals, so any damage we do here is permanent. And of course we get the Essex, that's the, the carrier. This thing is deadly. Yeah, Essex came out in that recent uh, update that is a premium thing that you, if you did the event, you would see it. And I mean, it can drop smoke, it can drop uh, uh, rockets and torpedoes, pretty wild powerful CV so let's see how many planes we can knock out and get him down and put our hurt on the Essex right now shooting down about five planes from the main bombers or the fighter planes there and we're shooting down the spotter plane so 
we get about eight planes. Let's see how many, how much damage do we get right there? We get about seventeen thousand damage. Okay, with including spotter planes. Venom is running away now. Notice that we didn't just want to rush in. I noticed he launched torpedoes right off the bat, so we don't want to take any kind of damage from it at all. And good thing we have a radar up. So if somebody's radaring the uh, Venom, we're gonna take as many shots as we can. He's back in the smoke. He's being radared. So that means we get these free shots. He can't see us. Nobody's spotting us. So again, do as best you can to eliminate the enemy opposing team's destroyers right off the bat. The team with the destroyers down definitely gives your team the advantage uh, in the long run because, man, DDs do everything. And he gets knocked out with that final salvo. Very good right there for our team. Again, the Venom had made a mistake right there. Being within radar range and being in smoke means that nobody's spotting for him and he's being spotted the whole time, which means there's free chip damage that the opposing team is shooting on your destroyer so very bad on him his part right there and we're going to see we knock out some more bomber planes and just doing this is the basic aa focus fire on the right uh, we don't do any kind of damage uh, other than just small uh small chip damage we didn't shoot down any planes so very very powerful uh, planes from the essex right there now, as a destroyer player, I'm focused on that Des Moines on the, the north side of the island, but he's behind the island cover, which means he doesn't have line of sight with us, which that means I can push in, he can radar us, but it won't be as effective. The rest of his team's in the back. We got Louisiana planes coming in. Let's see how Louisiana hybrid planes come uh, against the Jay Humphrey. So I just got basic AA here, basic priority sector fire. We knocked down one plane. Of course, he has a fleet of about, what, six? And we're only going to knock down one. So we got knocked down another one. He is still able to fly over our aircraft and do a wolf shot right there. He didn't get anything on us. And planes go away. So we're, we survive the uh, Louisiana planes right there. Very powerful uh, bomber planes. Des Moines is backing up, so we're worried about that. But you know what? I think we can go in and cap this thing because he doesn't have line of sight with us. And the rest of his fleet is far away. So I'll take an educated kind of conservative guess that we'll be okay just capping A at, at the some point here so we can have at least a two cap advantage. You got our torpedoes up, so we're gonna launch a spread right there and just hopefully somebody hits them. Again, these are 50, or 16 and a half kilometer range torpedoes that are, travel about 70 knots and have a good detectability range. Very, very unsuspecting torpedoes and they pack a wallop. These, I mean, these are gearing torpedoes. All right, Essex is coming at us again with bomber planes. So let's see if we can uh, hold them off. Again, we do have our smoke screen if we do want to use it to mask ourselves. But you know what? I actually want to see if I can knock out these planes and see the, how the AA build does. So we're not going to do any kind of smoke. We're going to sit and wait for them to come at us and wait for the very, uh, let's see, the last possible second for the capping. If we notice that we're going to get reset, I may pop the smoke. Okay, come on. We got five more seconds to cap this spot, and then we're going to move out of the cap and go work on Bravo. Again, we're doing literally everything for our team spotting, capping, AA build, torpedoing, destroying DDs. I mean, we're doing everything. Okay, here's defensive fire is on. We're shooting the Essex bomber right here. He's within our flak burst. Now he's inside the continuous damage range, so I'm not sure if the flak is as effective. See, the flak is not actually working until the very last minute until he goes up there uh, during his invulnerability period. So very good job. We get a torpedo head way out there in the distance. So very, very devastating. Even though you think you're safe by being out in the far distance, these uh, uh, Humphrey gearing torpedoes are very, very devastating, very powerful. So we'll launch a spread right there, one there, and one in front of the, what is it? I don't even know what, uh... oh, that's a Republic. I couldn't read it on the minimap. All right, so we're going to start working the Bravo cap right there. Jay Humphrey is very powerful. Up to 27,000 health bolt points in the first 13 minutes of the game, or seven minutes of the game. We have 45,000 damage. Shot down 19 planes. So we're doing a lot more AA damage than our cruisers and battleships are doing. So, I mean, like, if a destroyer is doing all the work, I mean, th that tells you that something's wrong with the game. The destroyer should not be the one literally doing everything. Like, literally shooting down planes, spotting, smoking, capping, torpedoing, gunboating, destroyer hunting. Uh, sub hunting maybe later. I mean, there's no subs in this game, but that's also your role. And we shoot down all the planes right there. Very good. All right, so we did a great damn 41,000 damage in, eight, in planes. That's literally like two destroyers that we're destroying in planes. Where that, I mean, that's ridiculous, right? We want to. Okay, somebody took down the Des Moines. Very good job. Yeah, we wanted the uh, team to kill the Des Moines, so we have no more radar support on their aspect. Now we have a, a uh, Ohio, and we're going to open up on the Ohio and see if we can start a fire and get as much damage on this thing as possible. we got a torpedo heading his way, but I think he sees him. So we're going to go ahead and smoke up and just start farming, and you can take a look at some of how these guns, how they work, are pretty much kind of like just gearing guns. Uh, nothing fancy. I mean, we do have that burst fire, but again, that burst fire cooldown is really, really long, up to 20-ish seconds, so 
Not something I want to be using. Here come the Essex Bombers again, so we're going to need to turn on the DFAA, and yeah, the Bombers fly out of our, our uh, range ring, so kind of a waste for the DFA right there. I wish he had flown a little bit more into our uh, flak burst, so I guess we're not going to be able to do much right there. So we're going to see if we can get some damage on the Ohio here, see if we can start a fire. These guns are really good at starting fires for some reason. Uh, not really, they're not as like the British style destroyers, but they do some pack somewhat of a punch. Get a nice spread out there, but I don't think the Ohio is going to stop there. He may. Let's see if he actually stops. I kind of notice how I'm shooting these torpedoes. I'm shooting where I think he's going to be. I'm not going to use the marker in the sense of, oh, I think this is the trend. I should fire. No, I'm going to go look at the mini map and the marker and see where the Ohio, if I was him, where would I go as an Ohio? And I think he's going to stop behind that island because there's our other John Bard is sitting right there waiting for him. So I'm going to launch torpedoes where I think he's going to stop and be. Let's see here, 53,000 damage the first 10 minutes of the game right here. 44,000 in, uh, in airplane hits right now. I'm taking a look at where these torpedoes are gonna land. I wonder, yep, there he goes. That's where I thought he was gonna be. We get about two hits and a flooding. And Ohio uh, damage on that one. Okay, here comes the SX. He's coming at me again. And we shoot about one or two planes, just one plane. Not as many as we want. Ooh, Z42 is behind us. He has a six kilometer hydro, so I do not want to be caught in that. So I'm gonna use my six kilometer ring and stay away from the Z42. So again, that's situational awareness. Looking at the minimap, knowing your enemy, knowing his his capabilities, you do not want to be caught in a, um, a uh, unfair fight. Because I know I don't have six kilometer hydro, therefore I'm going to run away. And he's using my smoke. Very smart on the Z42. Very smart on his part and knowing that he's going to use my long American smoke. And he's got a long time to sit in there to shoot uh, free rain, free uh, free damage that is. So we got another Louisiana here. I'm going to see if I can shoot down some of his planes. And looks like he did his torpedo. Ooh, we get a nice radar from the Missouri here. And let's see if we can knock out the Z-42. Hopefully he gets blown out of the water here. And yep, he is caught in the Missouri's radar. So again, bad on his part for not knowing the capabilities of the Missouri. If I had known that, I know, and you can always hit tab and select the opponent's, opponent's team and see what the capabilities of the enemy team are. I know for a pure, uh, from just playing the game that a Missouri has nine kilometer radar. So that gives me a heads up of what to do. Okay, and I got bomber planes coming in from the north. My AA is not active. It looks like I was too focused on shooting this guy. Bad on me for not knowing that. Here I select priority sector. I know the Essex is coming at us. He gets a drop off on us, I believe. So I got the AA going on and, ooh, he gets one hit on us, a thousand damage. We knock out two, uh, three of his planes. Very good there. AA guns are still active again. I don't know how much of my A has been damaged. We've been taking a lot of hits right there. So we got the spotter plane above us. So we're shooting down his spotter planes up to 73,000 damage in AA planes. That is literally a cruiser's worth of planes, guys. So really, really awesome. Very powerful Jay Humphreys right there. Now let's see if we can take out this Ohio. We're gonna go around the island and try to eliminate him as best we can. We got our Missouri and support in tow. Sorry for scratching your paint right there. Did not know you were driving right into me. Let's see if we can get a couple kills. We just need a good ass fire or something going on in this Ohio. I mean, my goodness, he's always almost dead. We came back from literally nothing to healing all that damage back. Let's see if those guns can take away that damage that he just received. Takes a shot from Missouri and, ooh, we get the kill. Splash one for us right there. And we're hugging the Missouri to make sure we don't absorb any more damage than we unnecessary. Ooh, we get another kill from our Malta. It looks like this game could end up being a uh, really close game here. So let's see if we stick with the Missouri, double up our AA so we can maximize AA firepower and knock out more Essex planes. Look at the Essex torpedo planes were able to get the drop on us with this amount of AA. Man, Essex is literally that powerful. Totally woof that torpedo uh, shot right there. And let's see if we can knock out some more planes. He's got more Louisiana planes are also coming in. Man, wish we had a defensive fire right now. We're shooting down more and more planes, helping with the Missouri. We're not getting much damage. I think a lot of our AA build has been damaged here. So, man, I wish we could help out more, man. That is an unfortunate hit right there on the Missouri. We're going to hug the Missouri and see if we can knock out more and more planes and using his body to shield us from torpedoes. Oh, my goodness. I hate it when that happens when we're taking just a secondary incoming fire. While they're shooting the Missouri, we're also taking the hit as well. Sorry I had to bump you. And he is at least healing somewhat. Yeah, he's got his heal going on off. All right, we're going to hug the uh, Missouri here and be, stay in formation. Maybe I'll pop the smoke for him. There he goes to hide him as best we can. And I don't think we're going to be able to save this game. Looks like we're about to lose anyways. But Jay Humphrey is 34, 34 planes shot down with 89,000 damage in airplanes alone. 
and we were capping, spotting, torpedo, and doing everything we can, and unfortunately, it was just not enough. Ooh, there we go. Finally get A expert at the very last there. 94,000 damage in airplanes, finally, at the end. Man, we, we literally fought to the very, very end on this one and tried to survive. Unfortunately, did not do as well as we wanted to. Number one in the team, my God, why? I wonder why, because we're shooting down all those planes. A 95,000 damage of airplanes. So Jay Humphreys, very, very good and effective for the tor or so the A-Bell, but we still lost 139,000 credits. It's a super ship, it costs money. So anyways, let's take a look at the final build of the AA. So uh, I did not take um, the mod six on that one. You notice how powerful it was without it. And uh, for the real match right there, and of course, this is the recommended build that the uh, dev blog guys said to use for the Jay Humphreys. So what are my opinions and thoughts on the Jay Humphreys? I think it's a very, very good A build. It's ranked number seven in the WoW stats, um, and I think it really does live up to it. So Humphrey is very good in the AA build. I think it's definitely worth trying and taking a look at. It's an all-around good gun, DD gunboat. It's a good torpedo boat. It's got the AA build. It's got concealment. It's got the smoke. It's got everything that you want in a all-around uh, destroyer. So do I recommend Jay Humphreys? Absolutely for an AA build and also uh, to play as a good destroyer as well with the uh, the amount of firepower it can dish out and what it can do. So that's my thoughts on it. That's a series for the um, the AA builds uh, that I've seen that are actually worthy to take a look at. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. If you uh, like what you saw, to, uh, take a look. Like, subscribe, bell button below. As always, appreciate all the support and I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, maybe we'll do a series for the uh, cruiser builds and we'll take a look at those. But as always, you guys stay safe, say hi if you see me out there. And as always, thank you so much for your support and watching the videos. And as always, stay safe and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.